something hit my spirit the other day. He said, look at this. He said, I chose him. He said, I stripped the anointing out of Saul. And I put it on David. And how do you know? How do you know in here? I'm going to tell you something. The only proof you got that you got is the javelins that have missed you. When is the last time you had a knife? Anybody throw anything at you? Well, you gotta check your anointing. Because the devil is only after who's anointed. He'll let you sing in the choir. He'll let you preach. He'll let you testify. But don't let you get a relationship with the word of God. Honey, that's when the child... Son, if you trust me, then you would obey me. When you pray to me, it is only an indication that you are ready to obey me. When they lie on you, let them. When they spit on your face, let them. When they hurt you, let them. When they betray you, let them. And when they do, love them. Your job is to love them. And after you love them, watch what I do. I will bring them to me. This is unselfish love. This is untainted love. And this is chain-breaking love. This is life-changing love. We love an effort to break chains in someone's life. So if you love them and they hurt you, ultimately God will convict them and change them and bring them closer to him. This is unselfish love. When I wrote this, um, I remember God was literally ministering to me, and I remember him starting off with saying that, if you, if you love me, you'd obey me. He's literally saying, like, you know, and, and if you trust me, you'd obey me. Like, if you really trust that I got this, um, this situation, you'd obey me. You wouldn't hesitate. You wouldn't question. And then him, him saying that he goes into writing, like, Yo, when these people hurt you, love them. When these people walk out on you, betray you, talk about you, all that stuff, just love them. And literally him saying, watch what I do. That thing wins me every time because it's like God literally said to me, son, watch what I do, but only after you obey me. Um, and in, in the obedience was, again, to love people who were only hurting me. And it was like him just showing me that unselfish love, loving people in their brokenness, through their brokenness. Seeing past people's issues, like I see you come and you do all that, you have all these attitudes, mindsets, and, and even you sometimes harming or hurting other people. I'm literally like, yo, like, I see what's going on. Like, I see the issues you're dealing with. I know you're broken, so let me love you. The last thing someone needs is for you to, you know, lash out on them or get petty back. It's like, no, love these people. Some of these people are so broken, they don't even realize it, but it's only when you love them. God can begin to step in and then convict them because they'll sit back like, yo, they only love me and I just keep hurting them. I mean, don't underestimate the power of God. God literally is convicting people. We don't know about it. When people lay their heads on their pillows, God is convicting and, and they can feel it. They start to, they, God can begin to water a seed and the seed is love. The seed is love. When you've loved people, and even the Bible talks about that. What reward do you get to love people who are easy to love? It's, but it's loving those who are hard to love. It's loving those people who literally is like, uh-huh, so-and-so and them coming. Love them, you know what I'm saying? But there were some hurtful people in my life when I wrote this. And they weren't hurtful because they were bad people. They were hurtful because they had their own brokenness. And they let their own insecurities kind of, you know, hurt people hurt people. I mean, it's one of those things where God says, son, love these people. I want you to love them. 
Um, and that didn't mean not have boundaries. Um, you can love somebody from a distance and you can love somebody and have a boundary set up. Um, and that's very important. People have to understand that. Um, and I had to set up boundaries and there had to be separation. But God told me to love them. And sometimes love just could simply mean pray for them. That's really important. And I, you know, it's again, it's unselfish love. The fact that when God told me, son, watch what I do. You know, a lot of us love to say, you know, oh, vengeance is the Lord's. And yes, God's going to strike these people down, make these enemies my footstools, make these enemies make peace with me. Those are all great things. And that is the Bible. But it's interesting how God responded with, son, watch what I do. I'm going to bring them to me. We have to love people so much that when they see us, they see Christ. And when they see Christ, they say, you know what? You love me um, so much that I want to meet your king. I want to meet your God. And it's like, if we can love people to the point where they meet God, that's the goal. And I think that's like, that's everything for me. So when, yeah, when I wrote this, I was, yo, I was going through so much, yo. I remember that year. It was around my 20th birthday. Um, and I, I remember I was going through so much, yo. And God would always let me know, son, you just love them. You continue to love people. Don't you ever let your heart be turned to hate. And don't let your heart be turned to any bitterness or nothing. You just keep loving these people when they hurt you. You carry your cross. And that's, that's a serious thing, y'all. Love people. That's all God wanted us to do. He said, son, love me and love people. Two different commandments with the same importance. It's crucial.